what's up guys we are still updating you what is going on what is trending in nigeria greetings to you wherever you are all right guys i don't know where to start but let me begin from somewhere because as we as i'm talking to you right now uh the social media is on buzz after the rumor uh broke out that uh, uh peter sorry peter will be yeah peter will be an article abubaka have decided to form a coalition that is alliance uh, together uh, to uh, contest 2027 election to remove Tinibu in office. You understand? And up till now, okay, the reason why I'm making this video, I was thinking that Peter B will debunk that rumor because Peter B must have seen uh, this rumor, you understand, on the social media. All right, so just as you have seen on your screen, uh, Peter B visited uh, Atiku Abubakar and both of them had dinner, uh, sorry, breakfast together. Um, Atiku, they, the video went viral, no doubt. So everyone was already saying that the collation is a done deal. You understand? And then the, now everyone is asking, who will, if only they have decided to form a coalition, who will be the president and who will be the running mate? Yes, and then obedient is already uh, kicking against such coalition because obedient uh, movement believe that uh, Atiku Abubakar will likely want to be the president and Peter will be, uh, be his running mate. You understand? That is uh, the body language of obedient as we speak right now. And then obedient is already, you know, doing campaign that it must be Peter B as the president. And then Atiku Abubakar must be the vice president. That is the argument. That is what is trending on the social media right now as I'm talking to you that uh, Peter B obedient insisting that Peter B must be the president. Atiku Abubakar must be the running man. That is the obedience, you understand? But yeah, there is something I want you guys to understand. There is something I want you guys to know. This is my own personal opinion. <coughs> Sorry about that. This is my own personal opinion. At this point, the nature or the way Nigeria is right now, I don't think people should be thinking or talking about who becomes the president between Tinibu, sorry, between the... Peter will be an Atiku Abubakar. At this point in time, Nigeria need to be rescued. That is what people should be focusing on. Nigeria need to be rescued. I think this is it is too early uh, to start this campaign on who will be the president and who will be the vice president. At this time, Nigeria need to be rescued. You understand? So people believe that uh, Peter will be is the best man for the job and they are about okay so there is um opinion going on on the social media now the agreement was that the not will do eight years and the south will do eight years so the not completed their eight years during buaris tenor and it is now time for the south you understand so likely this is my own personal opinion because the opinion is diverse. Some people is of opinion that Atiku Abubakar should come and complete the year of Yaradua. I don't know if you guys um, know anything about that. That Yaradua didn't complete his tenor. Atiku Abubakar should come and do one tenor and complete Yaradua's tenor before he died. Now, on the other hand, Tinibu have on the south. Tinibu has done. Or Tinibu is on his first tenor. Now, even if Peter B should go as the president, you understand, Peter B is likely to do for one tenor. That is to complete eight years of the South, and then power should go back to the North. That it is of Atiku's advantage that if uh, Peter B should do four years as the, you know, the president from South, the South must have completed the half eight years and then Atiku Abubakar is just a walkover for Atiku Abubakar to take it up uh you know for the north so those are people's opinion but I really don't know 
what you think about that and yet let me guys also tell you something because when it comes to politics let me tell you the truth we are in nigeria is political space itself it could be let me let me just open your eyes especially those ones are uh, the obedient the people that are carrying out this campaign may not be obedient the people that are carrying out this campaign that it must be Peter B, it must be Peter B. Everyone, the social media is on fire as I'm talking to you right now. That obedient wants Peter B to be the president. Now, let me let you understand something. This may not only be from the obedient. This campaign here that Peter B should be the president can be the handiwork of the uh, ruling party. Let me tell you the truth. This is how politics works. It can be the handwork of the ruling party. You understand? They will pay influencers. Uh, Peter B is trending. If you go to X, Peter B is trending. They will pay influencers, you understand, to clamor for Peter B to be the president. You understand? Just to put confusion. Just to put confusion. Let me. I'm telling you the truth and nothing but the truth. But yes, I know obedient one Peter will be uh, to be uh, the president. And yet, if Peter B is the vice president to Atiku Abubaka, automatically his political uh, value has reduced. You understand? His political value has reduced. That is just the truth. And on the other side, if Atiku Abubaka as well become the vice president, a running mate to uh, Peter B, his political value is also dead. So both men stand at the verge of retiring themselves on who to be the running mate. If Peter B be the running mate to Atiku Abubakar, he have to retire. His political value has come to an end. If Atiku Abubakar on the other side, I think people say he will be how many times, uh, whether three times or six times, uh, run a vice president. You understand? And his political career will be de will be dead you understand so this will cause a lot of confusion as long as i understand what is going on what is playing this will cause a lot of confusion between these two people if only they have agreed to come uh, as a coalition and obedient has already threatened to you know work against peter Obi. if peter Obi will be the running mate to uh atikwa bubaka like the likes of uh, Aisha Yesufu, okay, Peter Obi's ally, made it clear that if Peter Obi will be a running mate to anybody, you understand, that he, she, that she, Aisha Yesufu, will be the one to work against such ticket. And other obedient supported it. So if Peter Obi will accept to be the running mate to Atiku Abubakar, he will lose 80% of obedient support that is the truth and do you know what it means to lose 80 percent of obedient support now that is the reason why it take me back to the reason why i told you guys it may be from the work of the ruling party you understand the work of the ruling party because if it will be try to be a running mate to atiku abubaka oh yes he will lose obedient support 80 percent but however let me know what you guys think